Crea Plus introduces real-time collaboration, enabling multiple users to work together simultaneously on a design in a single secure environment, leveraging the benefits of the cloud and enabling richer communication across your organization in order to streamline product development and enhance design quality. As collaboration is an integral part of SaaS, it's included natively in Creo Plus, so any user accessing Creo Plus will now see new icons on the top right of the Creo Plus window to either create a new collaboration session or to join an existing collaboration session. Under the folder browser in Creo Plus, you will now see a new section for collaboration through which you can access a portal page showing you all of the collaboration sessions you have access to. This sessions page is accessible either through the embedded browser in Creo Plus or even a standalone browser. You can create a new collaboration session by clicking on the new icon and providing a name and description for your collaboration session. In this example, I'm creating a collaboration session to design a check valve. Once the session has been created, it'll show up in the folder browser under the portal link. You'll notice that the collaboration session is currently empty. You can either start your design from scratch or you can load in an assembly from disk or your PDM system. For this example, I'm going to load in my assembly from disk. Once your assembly is loaded, you can start making changes within the collaboration session. You'll notice a few more icons at the top right of the Creo Plus title bar within a collaboration session, one of which is for collaboration history and the other is to create a new version. When I enable collaboration history, it opens up a graph which acts as the timeline for all of the changes captured in the design. Each change is represented as a node in the history. The collaboration graph can also be detached and moved around the graphics area and snapped back into place. Obviously, a collaboration session is more beneficial when you have others to collaborate with. So you have the ability to share this collaboration session with other users in your organization. Once I open up the share window, you can see the number of users that have access to the session currently. I can go ahead and search for users within my organization that need to be added to this session. I'm going to go ahead and add my colleague Priyanka to take part in this session as well. You can see that I can give her permissions to read, write, delete, or share the session, or I can just give her permissions to access the session and make changes to the design. Once I share the session, Priyanka would get a notification that she's been invited to this collaboration session through her portal. Once she accepts her invite and joins the session, you can see her presence shown in the title bar, meaning that she is currently active in this collaboration session. You can then start making changes to your design. Let me activate this elbow and show you how changes are synchronized in real time in a collaboration session. I'm going to add a UDF to the elbow. You'll notice when I'm adding the UDF that there's an edit icon that shows up in the model tree. What this means is that I am working on this part and it becomes locked off to every other user in the session. Once I'm done with my change, the session will automatically save the change and propagate it to every other user in session and create a change in the collaboration history. Similarly, you'll notice that when Priyanka is editing a part, it shows up as locked for me and any other user in the session. Once the edit is complete, the lock would then release and the icon would then disappear. As you can see, Priyanka did make some changes to the pillar and that showed up as a change on the collaboration graph. And now the lock that appeared has now disappeared. And I have gotten the changes that she made as well. This way, two or more users can simultaneously make edits and the system would capture all of those edits and merge them into changes on the history graph. At any point in the design, you can create a new version marking a milestone or a stable point in the design. You can provide a name and description for this version similar to the session name itself. Once you've created a version, you can then branch off and iterate on the design safely, exploring multiple scenarios. You can also provide a name and description for your branch. 
any user that is not on that new branch is not affected by any changes made on the branch and can continue to work on the current design. You can continue to make changes on the branch as well. In this example, I'm going to change the diameter of the body. Once the design regenerates and saves, you will see that a checkpoint or a change has been created on the branch. If I wanted to merge this back into the main design, I simply have to activate my current design and then merge the changes from the branch into the current design. You can see that the changes that I made on the branch are now merged into the main design as well. At any point in the design, you can go back to a previous change and see how far you have come with the design. You can also compare the two changes to see what were the specific edits that were made to the design. Once you're done with a collaboration session, you can exit that session. Creo would ask you if you would like to retain the objects in session or erase the objects in session. Either way, the contents of the collaboration session will continue to be available via the collaboration portal. You can also add users that are external to your organization to a specific collaboration session. This is an admin level task and the admin would have to invite the guest user via the admin portal. For this example, I'm going to add a test user external to my organization and provide a role that's called guest collaborator. This is a limited access role, which means that the guest would only have access to the data that is part of a specific collaboration session that they're invited to and have no access to any other data that's part of the organization. Once the guest gets the invite, they can activate their account, similar to how you do as part of your own organization. Once the guest activates their account, you can go ahead and invite the guest user from the share dialog from within Creo Plus. As you can see, the guest user is denoted by a small icon and they can then have access to this session and the session alone. 